Though the moon, the sun's beloved, must surrender to the night, she is with him always, even when he cannot see her. In this year of 1861, the young English widow, Anna Leonowens, has arrived here in Bangkok, contracted by His Royal Highness to be school teacher to royal children. Her customs are very different than those in this land. She has the courage of a warrior, the tenacity of a river, but the compassion of a gentle sunrise. Greetings, Mrs. Anna. I am Lady Tiang. First wife of His Royal Highness, I am most happy to escort you to your new home in Royal Palace. Oh, pardon me, but I don't believe I'm staying in the palace. Who say? His Highness say, says, in our letter of agreement, he promised me 20 pounds per month and a home of my own outside the palace walls. <laughs> His Highness not always remember what he promised. <laughs> well, then I suppose you shall have to remind him. If I tell him he break promise, it will anger him. I cannot. Well, then, if you are afraid to tell him, I will. He's a very busy man. Well, I should like to see him at once. Mrs. Anna, please. You are Englishwoman, alone in Siam. Are you not afraid? Lady Tiang, I came here to work, and I intend to do my work. But I shall take nothing less than what was promised. I must see His Royal Majesty. Whenever I feel afraid, I hold my head erect and whistle a happy tune, and no one will suspect I'm afraid. While shivering in my shoes, I strike a careless pose and whistle a happy tune, and no one ever knows I'm afraid. The result of this deception is very strange to tell, for when I fool the people I fear, I fool myself as well. I whistle a happy tune, and every single time, the happiness in the tune convinces me that I'm not afraid. Make believe you're brave, and the trick will take you far. You may be as brave as you make believe you are. You may be as brave as you make believe you are. The result of this deception is very strange to tell. For when I fool the people I fear, I fool myself as well. I whistle a happy tune, and every single time, the happiness in the tune convinces you that you're not afraid. Make believe you're brave, and the trick will take you far. You may be as brave as you make believe you are. <laughs> you may be as brave as you make believe you are. school teacher? Yes, your highness. I am school teacher. But before I start my work, there's one matter regarding our agreement. You I... are part of general scientific plan. Already I have printing press for printing. Yes, I know, your highness. How you know? Oh, well, before I start, signed our agreement, I found out all I could about your highness's ambitions for Siam. Ha! This is scientific. Very important for royal children and all of Siam. How many children does His Highness have? I have only 106. I am not married long. But next month, expecting five more. Uh, you do not look like scientific person for teaching of school. 
Tell me more. Well, I am aware of your highness's printing press. His desire for education and the English language, his many dealings in foreign affairs, etc., etc. Etc.? What is this, etc.? Oh, it means, and all the rest and so forth. But, Your Highness, I wish to discuss our agreement and the house you... House? House? What house? The house you promised me, Your Highness. My only time... Silence! Man is Lunta, emissary from Burma. He bring present to his royal majesty from Prince of Burma. Her name is Taptin. Lady Tiang, have royal children prepared for presentation to school teacher. <laughs> Enough! Have no more time for talk. But your highness! Mrs. Anna, please. to live in royal palace, and yet she is unhappy. Well, perhaps she's homesick. <clears throat> it is not homesickness that makes me sad. It is love for one whom I shall never see again. Oh, poor child. It is Lunta, man who was chosen to bring me here. We tried so hard not to have love for each other. It isn't easy to stop loving a man. If he's truly the one you want, even if you know you may never see him again. I know. I was very much in love with my husband, Tom. When I think of Tom, I think about a night when the earth smelled like summer and the sky was streaked with white. And the soft mist of England was sleeping on a hill. I remember this, and I always will. There are new lovers now on the same silent hill, looking at the same blue sea. And I know Tom and I are apart. And they're all a part of Tom and me. Hello, young lovers, whoever you are. I hope you're 
young. Many months go by, this school teacher. Please, report. Your Highness. You are first wife. Our son will one day be ruler of Siam. Please, recite proverb children learned from school teacher yesterday. Yes. East or west, home is best. What? East, west, home, best, means house. Uh, a man's home is only less dear to him than his heart. Every day, month after week, always something about house. House, nothing more! <laughs> Your Majesty, yesterday, our son learned that world is round ball which spin on invisible stick through middle. Everyone know. World sit on back of turtle, which keep it from running into stars. How can it be that everyone knows one thing if many people believe another? Then which is true? I believe world is round ball. But you are not sure? I am ruler of Siam. Yes, but how will our son know? He will know because he will be ruler of Siam. But you... In my head are many facts, yet I am not always sure what to tell the growing son, how to bring truth and justice to my people. There are times I almost think I am not sure of what I absolutely know. Very often find confusion. In conclusion, I concluded long ago. In my head are many facts that as a student I have studied to procure. In my head are many facts of which I wish I was more certain. I was sure. Is a puzzlement what to tell a growing son? What, for instance, shall I say to him of women? Shall I educate him on the ancient lines? Shall I tell the boy as far as he is able to respect his wives and love his concubines? Shall I tell him everyone is like the other? And the better one of two is really neither. If I tell him this, I think he won't believe it. 
And I nearly think I don't believe it either. Shall I join with other nations in alliance? If allies are weak, am I not best alone? If allies are strong with power to protect me, might they not protect me out of all I own? Is a danger to be trusting one another? One will seldom want to do what other wishes. But unless someday somebody trusts somebody, there'll be nothing left on earth excepting fishes. <laughs> There are times I almost think nobody's sure of what he absolutely knows. Everybody find confusion in conclusion he concluded long ago. And it puzzled me to learn that though a man may be in doubt of what he knows, very quickly will he fight, he'll fight to prove that what he does not know is so. Oh, sometimes I think that people going mad. Ah, sometimes I think that people not so bad. But not matter what I think, I must go on living life as a leader of my kingdom. I must go be father to my children and husband to each wife, etc., etc., and so forth. If my Lord in heaven would have show the way, every day I try to live another day. If my Lord in heaven would have show the way, every day I do my best for one more day. Is a puzzlement. Tatin, where is Mrs. Anna? She will not assist us ever again. She has quarreled with His Highness. Mrs. Anna is our only friend. We need her help. Tatin, seeing you this way is not enough. There is nothing we can do. I am always watched. Must we go on forever, hiding our love like this? We kiss in a shadow. We hide from them. Our meetings are few. We speak in a whisper, afraid to be heard. When people are near, we speak not a word. Alone in our secret, together we sigh for one smile. To kiss in the sunlight and say to the sky, Behold and believe what you see. Behold how my lover. When can we be together, Tuptin? When? It is not possible, Nita. You must go now. Soon they will come searching for me. When I return, it will be to take you from here. When everything is arranged, I will get word to you. Okay. 
kiss in the sunlight and say to the sky, Behold and believe what you see. does, in fact, run away from palace with Louis Ta. We'll find her and she will be punished! Your Highness, of what interest to you is one girl like Top Tim? For she's just another woman. As a bowl of rice is just another bowl of rice, no different from any other. Now you understand about women. So many English books introduce strange idea of love Etc., etc., etc. Ha! A woman is designed for pleasing man. That is all. Your Highness, women are not just human females. Every man is like a king, and every woman is like a queen when they love one another. This is sickly idea, <laughs> invented by a woman. <laughs> a beautiful idea. Why, in England, by the time a young girl attends her first young dance... Young girl? They dance in arms of men, not their husbands. Etc., etc. I would not permit. Oh, but it's very exciting when you're a young girl and you're sitting in a small gilt chair, your eyes lowered, terrified that you'll be a wallflower. Then suddenly you see two black shoes, a waistcoat, a face. It speaks. We've just been introduced I do not know you well But when the music started Something drew me to your side So many men and girls Are in each other's arms It made me think we might be Similarly Together, you show me. You teach, you teach, you teach. Oh, uh, well, it's quite simple actually. You count one, two, three, and one, two, three, one, two, three. Shall we dance? One, two, three, and. On a bright cloud of music, shall we fly? One, two, three, and. Shall we dance? One, two, three, and. Shall we then say good night and mean goodbye? One, two, three, and. All for chance. When the last little star has beamed the sky Shall we still be together with our arms around each other And shall you be my new romance? On the clear understanding that this kind of thing can happen Shall, shall we, we dance? dance? Shall, shall we dance? Shall we dance? <laughs> That's splendid, Your Highness! But this is not right! Oh, yes it is! 
You were doing one. Two, no, no, no. One. It's not the way I see Europeans dancing. Yes, it is. Just like that. No. We're not holding two hands like this. One. Like this. No. Yes. Come. This time I do better. Again! <laughs> Why do you enter here like this? They have found Top Tim. Where is she? With police. It is believed she ran away with her lover, Lun Ta, man who brought her from Burma. What? Dishonor, dishonor, dishonor! Your Highness, Top Tim is only a child. She hurt your vanity, that is all. She didn't hurt your heart. You are wasting my time. I beg of you not to take revenge on the girl. I am not going to take orders from English school teacher. But... I am ruler of Siam. Do not forget that. I, I do not understand. I do not understand this country. I do not understand your customs. And I do not understand his highness. Mrs. Anna. His Highness is not easy to understand. This is a man who stinks with his heart. His heart is not always wise. This is a man who stumbles and falls. But this is a man who tries. This is a man who forgive and forgive and help and protect as long as you live. You may not always say what you would have me say, but now 
I wish to make gift. I hope you accept. Put it on finger. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Your Majesty. More. Buddha, I promise you, we will give this woman a house. Yeah! We will build her a brick residence adjoining the royal palace according to our agreement, etc., etc., etc. Your Majesty, Your Highness, I don't know what to say. When one does not know what to say, then it is the time to be silent. It is true. Oh, I so love children. I must admit, there's so much I've truly enjoyed learning about Siam. And all of you. You like us? Oh, I like you very much. It's a very ancient saying, but a true and honest thought, that if you become a teacher, by your pupils you'll be taught. As a teacher, I've been learning. You'll forgive me if I boast, but I've now become an expert on the subject I like most. Getting to know you. <laughs> getting to know you. Getting to know all about you. Getting to like you. Getting to hope you like me. Getting to know you. Putting it my way, but nice. You are precisely my cup of tea. <laughs> getting to know you, getting to feel free and easy. When I am with you, getting to know what to say. Haven't you noticed? Suddenly I'm bright and breezy because of all the beautiful and new things I'm learning about you day by day. Getting to know you, getting to know all about you. Getting to like you, getting to hope you like me. Getting to know you, putting it my way. Precisely my cup of tea. <laughs> getting to know you, getting to feel free and easy. When I am with you, getting to know what to say. Haven't you noticed? Suddenly I'm bright and breezy. Because of all the and new things I'm learning about you